So in this Elden Ring video, I'm going to be showing what happens if you beat Star Scorch Radon at his festival. This guy is definitely difficult to take down. At least he was for me to be real. I'll also be going over what we get for defeating him there and what to do afterwards. As well as, in case you don't know, I'll be going over briefly how to get to the festival of Radon too. So yeah, this video will be jam-packed with information. Let's go ahead and get into all of this. First things first, in order to get to the Festival of Verdun, you'll need to start and get through a bit of the witch Ronnie's questline. You can first meet her at Church of Ella, disguised as Rena, after getting your mount in the game. So once you get your mount, just head on over to Church of Ella, and you'll first meet her there. You'll then encounter her again over at the top of Ronnie's Rise, which is located over here on the map. Once you encounter and talk to her again, this will start the quest line that leads to the Festival of Verdun. Anyways, once you get to the part that starts the festival, you'll need to head over to Redmain Castle, which the entrance to it is located right here on the map. It's called the Impassable Gate Bridge. Once you arrive over here, this teleporter in front of the bridge to the castle will be active. This teleporter actually won't be active if you aren't to the quest that involves the festival, so keep that in mind. Going into this triggers the festival in the castle, which also makes it so there's no enemies in this part either. There's only friendly NPCs around this area, which are considered the champions that are about to go into battle with us to take down Radon during his festival. So yeah, this part is awesome. I mean, this whole quest line altogether is just incredible. So much work put into this. It's insane. Actually, no, I just want to show you all, in case you haven't seen it. Here's what happens when we first arrive at the festival here. Champions! Welcome! The stars have aligned! The festival is nigh! General Radan, mightiest demigod of the Shattering, awaits you! Champions, prepare for battle. Defeat the general, claim glory, and grab that great rune. A celebration of war. The Radon Festival. Yeah, just awesome. Once this guy does his whole speech, we'll then just need to talk to him to begin the festival, as you can see. We could choose this option here saying, ready as I'll ever be. And here's what happens when we do. Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture. General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. Howling at the sky. But now, we must make merry. Oh, gathering of champions! The revels begin! The celebration of war! The Radon Festival! Yeah, we get this awesome cinematic for this boss fight. And we'll get this gesture too, after talking with him. But anyways, to get to Radon and actually fight him, from this guy, we'll just have to go through this building over here, and then go right a little after entering the building, to go to this elevator that's right outside of it here. This will lead down to Radon. Once you're at the bottom of the elevator, you'll just have to head over to this teleporter that's on the beach, and yeah, this will send you into the boss fight against him. And it's not a easy boss. I'm actually not going to be going over a step-by-step -step guide in this video. I'll be making a video guide though over the strategy that I use to defeat him further in the future. So stay tuned for that if you are having trouble with him. This strategy that I used should definitely help out. But yeah, once you do officially beat this guy, here's what happens afterwards.
so yeah there's quite a few things that happen after defeating this guy first off we get the awesome cinematic that shows that the stars are now free since we took out star scourge we actually figured out during ronnie's quest line from someone that star scourge radon stopped the stars and defeating him was the key to freeing them actually sorceress selen is the one who tells us this when we show her the letter of introduction that we got from Celibus. This is a part of Ronnie's quest line. Well, well. Celibus is not a name I ever wanted to hear again. But fine. If it will help you, my apprentice. I offer my knowledge. The stars alter the fate of the Karian royal family. And the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations. And in a crushing victory, arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement. And so too would Rani's destiny. So we got to witness the stars being able to move again during the cinematic after we defeated the boss. I love how the developers added that. Also, Blyde and Alexander the Warrior Jar, if you freed him, will be around in this area temporarily after you defeat Radon, as you can see. And we are able to go up to them and talk with them. And here's what they say if we do. Ah, uh, good. I was waiting for you. Oh, what a sick way to fight, eh? The glory of the clash is shared by Radon and you. And <laughs> did you see that afterwards? falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. To Nokra, where Rani's fate will be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more for Mistress Rani. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. And we'll go into battle again, side by side. My only purpose is to fight for Rani's fate, sword and fang. The curtain is rising. And the final act. So yeah, that's what Blight says. He gives us a hint of where we need to go next, and that is Mistwood Ruins. That's where the star fell around, and there's now a giant hole over there that we'll have to go down. It'll lead down to Nakram, which is the next part of Rani's quest line. So yeah, that's what Blight says after the fight. Here's what Alexander the Warrior Jar says. Ah, hello there. Well, it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a croc. One hit was all it took to crack me, and for my insides to come spilling out. After that, uh, I hid like a coward. And as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. <sighs> but don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Mm. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> so, yeah, he's trying to get himself stronger by using the bodies he's finding around here. Definitely odd, but I mean, it is a giant talking jar after all. I will admit though, this guy is useful on the battlefield. Keep in mind, to have this guy's help on the battlefield, you're going to have to free him first, which I've made a video already over how to free him, so I'll have a link to that in the description if you are wanting to get this guy's help during the fight. Anyways, now let's go ahead and get into the rewards that we get for defeating him. So we get 70k runes, which is a great amount. We also get the Remembrance of the Star Scourge, as well as Radon's Great Rune. However, it's inactive at the moment. Before I get into how to make it active, I wanted to show you first what you can do with the Remembrance of the Star Scourge. We'll just need to take this over to the Table of Lost Grace, and then we'll just have to go into this room here and talk to the elderly lady. When we first go to talk to her, she'll recognize the great runes that we have in our inventory and actually reward us with a talisman pouch. This will make it so we can equip another talisman. Also, we'll be able to purchase from her some unique gear too. 
as you can see, if we go to purchase, as you can see in her shop, we can now purchase Radon's armor set, as well as Radon's spear, which is considered a great arrow, and is used with his bow. Which, speaking of his bow, what else we can do with this Remembrance of the Star Scourge is receive power from it. As you can see, one of her options state to receive power from the Remembrance. And once we choose that, this screen will pop up, giving us two choices to choose from, depending on whatever your playstyle is. As you can see, you could choose to get the Star Scourge Greatsword, or you could choose to get his bow, which is called Lion Great Bow. And this thing looks insane. The bow is going to require 22 strength and 18 dexterity, and the sword is going to require 18 strength, 12 dexterity, and 15 intelligence. Both of the weapons that we can receive here are phenomenal. Just depends, I guess, on your playstyle on which one you want to go with. Anyways, lastly here, I wanted to show you how to restore the power of Radon's Great Ruin that we get after we defeat him. It starts out inactive, it doesn't have any power to it. And how we're able to get power is by going over to the Divine Tower of Salid, which is located right here on the map. I'm actually going to start a little further back from it just to show how to even climb the tower because it's not just something you can just simply walk in. You have to instead take this route up. As you can see, you can jump on part of the tree that'll lead over to the building. And then we'll just have to head over here to this ladder and climb it. Once at the top of the ladder, we'll then just want to head over this way and climb the ladder over here. Once at the top of this one, we'll then just want to head left. Be careful of the gaps that you're going to have to jump over. I use my horse just because, honestly, I feel safer on it because of the double jump. Anyways, we're going to have to continue wrapping around this building until we get over here to the next ladder that we have to climb. At the top of this will be the Site of Grace that you can get for the waypoint. And from the Site of Grace, if we just take this way and head up these stairs, we'll find this closed door that we can open. Just simply open this, and then just head up the elevator inside this room. Once at the top of this elevator, we'll then just want to head to the top of the building, which is just up a few little staircases. As you can see, at the top up here, we'll find this thing that will restore the power of the Great Ruin. This will power up Radon's Great Ruin, so it's actually useful. So yeah, hopefully this helps out. But I guess that's about wrapping up this video. Hope you all found this enjoyable. If you did find this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. This took a while to compile all of this information into one video. But, you know, as always, that's totally up to you if you want to take the time to support the video or not. Just leaving a reminder here at the end. I'm out of here though. Thanks for taking the time, watching and listening. Until next time, peace.